How's it going everybody? Brandon Adams here, the founder of University of Young Entrepreneurs and inventor of the Arctic Stick. I'm here to tell you guys a brief outline of what it takes to take your idea and turn it into an actual tangible product. So let's start off. First thing, what do you do? You have an idea in your head, what do you do with it? First thing you need to do is write it down on paper. Ask yourself, what problem does this solve? Is this a problem worth solving? Is this something I can even sell on the market? Write everything down that makes you think of your idea, visualize it, everything. The next step, you want to do research. And I can't emphasize enough, you want to do a lot of research and make sure there's nothing else there on the market like your idea. Make sure it's unique, it's different. So you go online, do a, a regular Google search, you can go, do a Google patent search, you can even do the USPTO.gov is the United States Patent Trademark Office. You can do a search through there, see what patents are out there, trademarks, whatever. It'll give you the idea of the process. So do a lot of research. After that, you're going to want to go to the next step and actually get a patent lawyer involved. Have them do a patent search for you and look for you and see what else is on the market before you move forward because you want to see right away if there's something out there like if there is, you want to stop. Don't waste your money moving forward and save yourself from a lot of time and headache. Next step, what I suggest to everybody is you need to find an expert because if you've never developed a product before, you're in for a treat, my friend. It takes a lot of time and effort. I'm three years in. I've spent a lot of money and made a lot of mistakes, and I'm still learning, but I've learned a lot over the years, and the one thing I did learn is you need to find an expert to help you throughout the whole process who have done it and made mistakes before and can guide you in your way of developing your own product. If you find an expert, next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to turn your idea and actually turn it into something that's a visual. Turn it into a, uh, a CAD. You'll do a CAD drawing is what it is. It's a computer-aided design. Engineers do this, and it's beyond my knowledge for the engineering part, but you have an engineer. Take your idea that you've wrote down on paper and do the exact dimensions and design into a computer software, and they use this to bring your idea to life. It's exhilarating to see it. And then what that'll be used for is your next step is doing a prototype. A prototype is something that looks and functions like your intention product. You can actually use this for showing to other people, for pitching, demonstrations, everything. So once you get to that step where you have the prototype, you need to make the decision. How do I want to sell my product? Do I want to license it or do I want to manufacture it? If you license it, what you would do is go out and have a company actually sell it for you and you would get a royalty. If you get a royalty deal, uh, you can make a lot of money from this. Most royalty deals go anywhere from 3 to 7% on wholesale costs, so it could work out good for you. All you got to do is sit back and take in the money. The other route would be manufacturing, which would be a whole different process. A manufacturing would mean you're going to treat your product as a company. You're going to actually do the marketing, go to trade shows. You're going to do everything. You're going to wear a lot of hats and you're going to have a lot to do. But if you like that route, there's pros and cons to each. These are the two main ways to take your product to market, whether licensing or manufacturing. And now, in today's day and age, we have crowdfunding. I've done a crowdfunding campaign myself. I had raised money for my product, Arctic Stick. We had backers in 25 states, 10 different countries. I got featured on USA Today, national publicity. It was awesome. But what people don't know is crowdfunding is so difficult, it is hard to do, and there's more to it than just putting your campaign out there and praying that somebody comes and pledges money because it doesn't work that way. The money isn't free. So what people are doing now is doing crowdfunding to validate their idea, get the funding they need to either go the license route because if you do get crowdfunding, you get backing, you get money, you can use that track record to take to a company and say, hey, will you license my product? You have proof of sales already or you can use that already the pre-sales use that money to buy tooling and produce and manufacture and that's the route that I took so these are the main steps to taking your product to market that's a, a gist of the whole three to five years on average what it takes and anywhere from 75,000 it could take a quarter of a million dollars to develop your product it just depends on the experts you have on board and the knowledge and the advice you have along the way to help you so I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys want to, I'm actually doing free webinars on a regular basis. You can check all that out on my website, 
www.brandontadams.com. I'll link that below. And then also, I'm actually going to be doing courses on product development and crowdfunding to give you guys a better idea of what it takes to take your idea and turn it into a profitable product. And also crowdfunding and everything else. And I'll, I'll sit with you guys hands on and help you with your idea. So you can check that all out on my website or below. I'll post something too. But in the meantime, go out there, create great things, become unforgettable. Because life is too short not to. I'm Brendan Adams. Have a great day, everybody.